parasympathetic nervous system. All right, has one main receptor. That is muscarinic acetylcholine receptor, which you can break into M1 through M5. Now, all five receptors have effects on the CNS. Good to know. I'm really not going to get into the details, but they all have effects on the CNS. Okay, but we're going to concern ourselves with M1 through M3 specifically. Okay, first M1 receptor. I like to write it out, much like with beta 1, I like to write it out as M1, which looks like moan. So M1 is going to make you moan, go, ooh, from heartburn, because it increases gastric acid secretion. Okay, that is M1, makes you moan, ooh, from heartburn gastric acid secretion. M2. M2, I like to think of as, you know, that reminds me, you know, I'm actually getting pretty hungry. What I could really use, what M2 makes me think of is M&M's. I could really use a bag of M&M's. Aha! Just for those hungry for. Now that's a bag. Decrease cardiac output as a result. So, M2, what it does is protect your heart, increasing heart rate, contactility, and cardiac output, like a bunch of MMs here. Okay, now M3. M3, I like to think of as 3M, company 3M, because what does our 3M do? Well, it makes kind of shape. You can make uh, other medical tapes and I think post-its and just about anything else you can imagine. They make a whole bunch of stuff. So, M3 pretty much does just about anything else you can think of in the, paras the parasympathetic nervous system does. So, I'll start with the eyes. I'm going to dilate your pupils. Or, constrict your pupils. It's actually going to relax the smooth muscles and constrict pupils. In your GI tract, what's it going to do? Increase motility. It's going to relax your sphincters of the GI. And urethra. Helping those things to move along. It is going to relax the smooth muscles in your vasculature. Vessels it increases the watery secretion in your saliva. Increased watery saliva is the point of the point and shoot of the male reproductive system. Point B for parasympathetic. It is uh, going to it actually what induces nausea, nausea, emesis. Part. And it'll actually uh, constrict a little your uh, lungs and your bronchioles. So, or, so bronchioles, and that's why anticholinergics, like kiprotropium, are good for helping people with lung issues. So, M3, it'll actually constrict your pupils, increase motility of GI, relax your sphincters, relax your vessels. Increase water saliva, point to the point and shoot, emesis, and bronchiolar constriction. So 
That is uh, your muscarinix. Muscarinix parasympathetic, M1, heartburn, moan, gastric acid secretion, M2, M1's and M3, pretty much everything else.